go to jail. This is Artifacts of Mars, and this lawyer should be in jail. Now, she has, she's uh, very well known, her name is Lisa Bloom, and although I don't know, understand how this is possible, she is the uh, daughter of man-hater Gloria Allred, who is also a lawyer, and uh, vampire, like her daughter is. How that's possible, I don't know. But anyway, she tried to pay off uh, Trump accusers with money from donors in order to, uh, she claims that it wasn't to entice them to speak out against him, which is BS. Well-known women's rights attorney sought to arrange compensation for donors and tabloid media outlets for women who made or considered making sexual misconduct allegations against Donald Trump during the first final months of the 2016 presidential race, occurring documents and interviews. California lawyer Lisa Bloom's efforts to include included offering to sell alleged victim stories to TV outlets in return for a commission for herself, arranging a donor and pay off one Trump accuser's mortgage and attempting to secure a six-figure payment for another woman who ultimately declined to come forward after being offered as much as $750,000 clients stole the hill. Women's accounts were chronicled with contemporaneous contractual documents, emails, and text messages reviewed by the hill. Including an exchange of texts between one woman and Bloom suggested political action committees supporting Hillary Clinton were contacted during the effort. You know, they say there's honor among thieves, and these are a bunch of thieves. Bloom, who has assisted dozens of women in prominent harassment cases, also defended film executive Harvey Weinstein earlier this year. Represented four women considered making accusa- considering making accusations against Trump last year. Two went public, two declined. In a statement to the Hill, Bloom acknowledged she engaged in discussions to secure donations from women who made or considered making accusations against Trump before last year's election. Donors reached out to my firm directly to help some of the women I represented, said Bloom whose clients have also included accusers of Bill Cosby and Bill O'Reilly. Bloom said her goal in securing money was not to pressure women to come forward, but rather to help them relocate or arrange security if they felt unsafe during the waiting days of a vitriolic election. That is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. She declined to identify any of the donors. And and while she knows she represented sexual harassment victims for free or reduced rates, that's BS. She also acknowledged the standard part of her contracts required women to pay her commissions as high as 33% if she sold one of their stories to the media outlets. So she takes her stories, sells them to a media outlet. She gets mu- she gets as much as 33 percent of that. This is money that's changing hands. This is sick. This is uh, this is flat out corruption. Our standard pro bono agreement for legal services provides that. If a media entity offers compensated client for sharing his or her story, we receive a percentage of those fees. This rarely happens, but on occasion the case generates media interest and sometimes not always client may receive an appearance fee. As a private law firm, we have significant payroll, rent, taxes, insurances, and other expenses every week. Boo hoo hoo. 
So an agreement where we might receive some compensation to defray our costs seems reasonable to us as agreed to by our clients. Uh, now you have to ask yourself, how many of these accusers in this country are uh, receiving lucrative payouts? And you also have to ask, why is Lisa Bloom not in a prison cell right now? She should be. She should be in a prison cell in an orange jumpsuit awaiting trial. Oh my god. This is organized crime. I mean, it's going on between the media and this lawyer. This is unreal. This is, uh, pay for defamation. Or something. Well, there you have it. Lisa Bloom, in my opinion, should be in a prison cell right now, waiting trial. I'm not taking it back. Unreal. If you try to justify this, you're justifying organized crime. So I'm going to break this down one more time. These lawyers go around trying to find somebody who will speak out against Trump. They make up a story, they sell it to the media, they get paid. And then they go after Trump or whoever it is. It makes me wonder just how many of these cases are actually real. Which I was already wondering anyway. Anyway, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.